G'day everybody, Mr. Weenie here. Just wanted to make a quick video on an important matter regarding COD Comedy TJ. So if you don't already know, I've had all my comments and Discord members removed and that's got a few people confused. See, I had made Code Comedy TJ as moderator of my YouTube comments and my Discord server because I was sure he was someone I could trust. Uh, as you know, I make his thumbnails or I used to make his thumbnails and did a little, did a little bit of editing for him as well. Um, so on the 25th of June, of June uh, TJ decided to nuke my members and comments because I had found out that he, the person that has made four videos on exposing Gypsy Crusader as a pedophile, is also a pedophile himself. How I know all this, um, so around two and a half weeks ago, on the 8th of June, this month, uh, I was contacted by Grace and her friends, you know, her friends sticking up for her because they need to let everybody know what TJ has done. And at the time I didn't believe uh, what these people were saying. They got me in a VC and they were posting evidence. I mean, a, du a dump truck of evidence of photos, videos, chat logs, history, everything. I couldn't quite believe it then. I questioned every photo and every, I, I questioned every bit of evidence they threw at me. It was so much. Um, and it, of course, of course it overwhelmed me, but I didn't fucking waver. I still said, I was messaging TJ saying, these people are saying that you're a pedophile, bro. This is unbelievable. These guys have to be trolling. This must be, this must be a joke. And you know, before they posted some solid, solid evidence, um, I had actually invited TJ to join the VC. And this is when I was, this is when I first started getting suspicious. Um, TJ for the, for the first time ever declined. He didn't want to join in on this and troll these people um, for some reason. And it, it became quite clear now why uh, he didn't want to join is because he actually was guilty. He actually was in the wrong here. He had fucked up. He had messaged that 15 year old girl um, and sent her his dick pics. So yeah, I'd eventually got off call with them and um, TJ had spoken to me and said, look, did you see my dick pics? Because he was he was quite aware that Grace at the time had saved his dick pics as well as himself saving her nudes as well, which is CP, which is fucking awful. But what he wasn't aware of, I, I said, yeah, I saw your nudes. I, and that's what he was aware of. Uh, he, that's all he was aware of, of what I saw. But I actually saw lots more uh, than what he thought I saw at the time. So he just thought I saw his dick pics. Um, Grace had used another mobile device to photograph the Snapchat history. So TJ wasn't aware, wasn't quite aware of everything that had been documented. So TJ, what I fucking saw is despicable. And now that's on a exposed page, everything that I've seen is now on an exposed page uh, on Telegram, which there will be a link in the description and I will pin it in the comments. I just wanted to add this into the middle of the video after I was watching it back, I forgot to say this. Um, so after I got all this evidence in VC, uh, the, the last thing I I asked Grace and her friends was, okay, well, Grace, are you actually uh, 15 years old? Are you 15 years old? Like, were you 15 years old at the time? Because she said she was 16 at the time then. And so I asked for ID. Right away, she sent me her student ID from different angles and she sent multiple photos and eventually posted her passport, which matched the date of birth, which confirmed her age and pretty much everything. So I just wanted to throw that in there as well. And also how we know that these photos he sent her were uh, when she was 15 was because some of these um, Snapchats are actually timestamped with the filters that he used. So it, they dated back before she turned 16. So he did in fact, send dick pics to an underage girl, a minor. TJ's whole excuse at the time when I finished VCing with these people, with Grace and her friends was, oh yeah, it, she she was an old ex. She was an ex um, that claim is trying to get back at me. I'm paraphrasing, but I do have the chat logs and I can prove it. She basically it boiled down to TJ saying that he was sent a fake ID that said she was 17 at the time, right? And I said, oh, okay, um, well, can you, I asked him, can you post this ID? So then we can quash, quash these allegations immediately. And then, you know, we can say that she catfished you or whatever, you know, catfished that as in, you know, tricked into thinking she was older than she actually was, you know? Um, but 
that was three weeks ago. I have, I'm still waiting on this evidence. TJ said he would send it to me when he got back to his computer. I've been waiting, waiting for three weeks. Anyway, fast forward to present day, the COD Comedy TJ Exposed channel dropped. Um, his way of dealing with the allegations, the proof, the evidence against him, saying that he's a pedophile, which in, in my fucking honest opinion is concrete. And that's why he's taken so long to actually disprove all this. His, his best way, his first, his first way of actually disproving all this is going after me. He's saying now that I'm dating the girl that he groomed because I'm helping her. Um, and then he said he's going, he's actually speaking to my ex who's from Colombia, which I know for a fact isn't true, TJ. No, scare tactics, idiot. You're the one that's pissing yourself, mate. Um, and that there's a 10 minute audio uh, note of Grace admitting she's 17, but then people are now saying that she's 20, t- like 20 to 22, 17 turning 18. Like it's all over the place, this evidence. Like the shit he is concocted cocking is just it's off the rails it has no basis um he hasn't posted any evidence he said all the images are faked um the snapchats that are in the exposed channel and they've been doctored the images have been doctored and um he's yet to prove it and he said he's making a video on it he said he says he'll be one week until he or it'll be out next week he's just posted a new video and you know what, I, I was going to show all the images and stuff up on screen and blur them, but I'm not going to now because I think, and I could be wrong, could be wrong, but I think TJ is actually viewbotting now. He got a thousand subs overnight and I think he's getting ready to flag stuff. Um, so I won't be posting anything on screen, any evidence, but I will leave the descri- in the description the exposed channel link and you can decide for yourself uh, what you really think. Just want to let everybody know uh, that that's what's fucking going on right now. And... Yeah, shit's going down. Like, um, I will make a full video on it on event on it eventually. Excuse me, but um, what's more important is getting this sort of information to the police, which the police are involved, Crime Stoppers are involved, um, and I'm even thinking going down, thinking of going down to my fucking local police station, mate. Because quite frankly, wouldn't it, I wouldn't mind working with the police to get your fucking ass locked up? Just saying, bro. Because the shit you said to that girl is despicable, man. Despicable, and. Anyone, anyone with a fucking uh, a, an in tune moral comp- compass is going to agree with me. And TJ, I know you're going to probably say it again because, uh, dude, just because I'm sticking up for a fucking a young girl doesn't make me a fucking simp or a pedo. Like, dude, it would defeat the whole purpose I'm doing this. Like, I'm passionate about this because I have a little sister that isn't much younger than Grace here, and if I knew a 24 year old man was speaking to someone. Uh, around the age of my sister, like you have, I would not want to be your fucking friend. It's, it is it is as simple as that, man. You've been promising people proof for days that all these allegations, all these images have been faked, doctored and all that. And it's all been, it's all been set up and planned to fucking take you down for some fucking reason, you, bizarre reason you have in your head. I want to start see, seeing some proof that this is actually true um, because you've got nothing yet. Why are you, why are you postponing your innocence? You said you're going to post the video next week disproving it all, right? What's the video going to be? If you say these images are fake and then there's been captions put on top of them, you should have the original photos, right? It doesn't take long to take upload a fucking photo. It doesn't take a week, mate. Um, upload the original photo. Why haven't you done it yet? You've handled this in the, mo- in the most absolute worst way you could imagine. The worst way. I think the reason, TJ, that you're saying that you have this proof but won't post it is mainly to prolong your uh, relationship with your inner circle. Mate, who the fuck would want to be mates with you? You're losing all your mates right now. Everyone's in question. Everybody's fucking not sure of you anymore. And, you know, even smarter people know that you are a pedo and not fence-sitting like fucking some. Like, use your fucking head, guys. Come on. Some of you are really starting to fucking sound really stupid. Guys, guys, if this was the other way around and Cog Comedy TJ had these, this sort of evidence on um, on Gypsy, it would not be questioned. It would not be, hmm, is this fake? Is this doctored? It's fucking solid. Group from. But apart from that, um, to be honest, there's, there is a lot more to say, but I wanted to keep this video short. 
I will be making a full video on it soon. But before that, um, we're just going to keep cooperating with the police and yeah, we'll go from there. But anyway, guys, I just want to let everyone know about, about what's been going on. So if you've got any questions, ask me any questions for Grace, you'll see, uh, you'll see, you just message me and, um, yeah, if you're not, if you're not sure of the shit, we'll fucking, we'll convince you. Um, we'll do every, we'll answer every question. Um, uh, we'll, we'll entertain your doubts and we'll make sure that you get well, at the very least, Grace's side of the story, because we haven't seen much from TJ's side of the story because he won't post it for some reason. But anyway, guys, um, have a good one. See ya.